All right, time for part two. Um, with 99-2, so that means he's played two matches and lost both of them? Or does that mean he played 1-1-1, one, 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 lost one, or that, yeah. I'm not really sure, but we get to go second, or have to go second, you know, however you look at it. Um, but Nadir Serpent sent Untus is really powerful, I think. Um, deep Sea Diva. Okay, that's fine. Um, is he gonna hand loop me? Is that what's gonna happen here? Pretty sure that's all that uh, you do with this card. Uh, okay, well that was unexpected. What's he gonna do? Hulk. Okay, he's he's just playing Deep Sea as a one card Hulk, I guess. Um, well, now I don't know what's going on. Um, this could be literally anything. It could be Synchron Eldritch, I guess. Um, I think that's actually... <clears throat> well, now I'm lost again. Plague Spreader is really good if you're not playing the Mecha Phantom Beast guy, but I... If you're playing the Synchro Eldritch deck, you would be, right? So... So he'll get tokens. Maybe Synchro Marcher, bring back a tuner. Synchro Tatsunoko, maybe he'll do like a... Like a weird version of the Infernoble combo. A link to hmm cross sheep? No, that'd be dumb. Barricade board. Oh, he's just doing the Beck Phantom Beast combo, but in the weirdest way possible, I guess. I mean, I guess without Oli and Plague Shredder lets you make an eight, which is neat. But I um. I guess I just don't see why he didn't summon, why he wouldn't just summon the, uh, desk bot. So he has three Mecha Phantom Beast tokens and a Link token. Can't Link summon. He's got a Plague Springer in his graveyard. If he, if I'm right, he's going to tribute the 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 guy and the Link token. Yep. To summon what though? Blue Impala, maybe? Or the uh, Hamstrat? What? That makes this thing a twelve. Oh, uh, sure. You contribute one token, target one Mecha Phantom Beast monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So he's gonna bring back Auradon? I don't really see why. Why? I, like, am I missing something? I don't see what this is for. I mean, I guess we're going to find out, but it's not like he can Link Summon anymore, right? So, is it just to get a token off the field so that this thing's a 9? But, I 
If he's trying to make a Calamities, he needs to get another 9 on the field. I don't see how he does that without using the tokens. Is this not once per turn? Oh. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, that's insane. Okay, I uh, guess I've never read Oridon closely enough. Erosguin, I know. Oh my god. Erosguin banishes the uh, Oridon. I see where this is going. Is this how the Infernoble Knight combo works? Because I've never actually seen it happen. Maybe I'm bad at this game. Um, He's just going to make Calamities, right? Like... Is that the end of the turn, is just make Calamities? Because if, if he just summons Calamities, then I'm probably fine. Yeah, that makes them both nines. We'll like he's into um, True King. Oh, man. Um, he can also... Stack a card, call Earth, and make Nat Beast, but I don't know if he's gonna do that. I would. That's pretty neat, but I don't know if he's gonna. <clears throat> okay, that was really funny. He's, uh, it's Calamity's Eldritch. Okay, I didn't realize that was really a thing. But it makes sense. Okay, um, so I'll start. Stand by. Am I good to move to main one? I'm just gonna move to main one. No? Okay. K for MP. Okay. Um, activate this card. We always activate this card, banish six. That's just it's just what you do. Draw some cards. Uh, and then see what we banished. Titanoclad, Dreadnought, Phoenix, Access, Talamy, and Unicorn. Awesome. So shuffle that. Uh, we still have Entis to send off Nadir's Servant. Let's see if he chains. Untis is a light, Titanoclad is, however, not a light, so we'll send Titanoclad. Send Titanoclad, add the uh, Ecclesia. Activate Eldlixer? Yeah. Okay. So we'll uh, summon an Eldlich. And set a bunch of cards. Clad. And then we'll just add the um, Fleur de Lis and he'll summon a conch. Uh, 
my turn's over. Is he going to summon the conch? Or is he just going to flip it up? Okay. Okay, so I have a Hoquero. I don't I really only have a Hoquero and a punishment. I um don't think the droll is gonna matter very much. I can sanguine into a second Eldritch, but I don't think any of that matters. What does he do here? Link spider, that's fine. Especially Ecclesia. Um, okay. Yeah, Special Ecclesia is fine. Then I guess I just hit him with Droll just in case. Yeah. I'll just Droll him. Just in case there's anything else funny. He's trying to use... We can do this. Nifty nifty. This is going to work out awesome. So we send Entis, pop the Ecclesia, summon Hoquero. Uh, okay, so we clear his dangerous monsters and banish the conquistador. That's pretty impactful. And then during the end phase, we'll just activate uh, Sanguine. I know I can't make the uh, Dreadnought for like three reasons, but we'll have a second guy and then we can banish it for a conch, which is pretty helpful. And if this uh, Link Spider stays on the field, then I can Special Ecclesia, which is also good. Um, he'll set one. And end, I'll activate Elixir in my end phase. In the end phase, rather. And summon a second Eldlich. Then I'll start my turn. Stand by main He's particular, so I'll make sure that... And then I'll activate a second pot of extravagance. Because that's what we do here. We banish our entire extra deck face down. 
Oh, that's impactful. All right, so then we'll um, special Ecclesia use effect. Hmm. Maybe not use effect. Um, so change Aquero, Eldritch, Eldritch, and then uh, go to battle. Attack over a token with Ecclesia. Attack over the other token with Hoquero. And then we should be able to do 4k off of the Eldliches. And then main two will just uh, banish the punishment. Uh oh. Um, that'll clear both Eldliches probably. Yeah, that'll hit both Eldliches. And Ecclesia Untus, that's fine. So we'll just attack the Link Spider with Eldlich. Right. Should, should go through, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, main two, I'll use the uh, Eldlixer to set Conquistador. And then I'll use the other Eldlich to do... That. Oh, I should have said it first, because that's technically cheating, but obviously I just set it and then do it. So what's he gonna... What does he have in his graveyard? Nothing, really, right? And he can't summon from the extra deck because of punishment. And I have a conk to... And I have a conk, Valor, and Droll to stop everything. Yeah. Okay, so game two, I know he's playing Synchro Eldlich. So I side... This stuff. Don't need these as much. Um... I can probably sign out an extra and an Ecclesia. And. Third Hawkwero, maybe? No, Hawkwero is really impactful. Ah, I'll sign out the third Hawkwero. This should be fine. Because all I need to really do is stop him from making Calamities, right? I don't know how long he's going to be siding, though.
so uh, Phantom Rage didn't really change anything. Uh, if you aren't playing the Phantom Knight cards, there's really only Negalogia and Beast King. And if you're not playing Alpha, and Alpha isn't really... There's no reason to play Alpha if you're not already playing Pancratops, and I'm not already playing Pancratops. Maybe I should be, but I'm not already playing Pancratops, so why would I put Alpha in my deck? And then, uh, Double Azus is only good for decks that use Xyz monsters, and I, te I do technically play Xyz monsters, but I have almost- I don't think I've summoned one of them. So he goes servant, send um the thingy at Ecclesia. That makes sense, that's that's what you do. And then you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. So he'll normal Ecclesia, probably add punishment, and then during the end phase add the uh What do you call it? The the Fleur Lease. <clears throat> that makes this Nibiru really really worthless though. Um yeah, add punishment, he'll probably set four and phase search for the release. Maybe only two. Depends what's in his hand, I guess. But yeah, he's probably just gonna set some cards and phase for the release. End phase. Search for the lease, yep. And then I'm going to draw and activate Pot of Extravagance because that's that's what I do. He did add the Fleur de Lise, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'll draw. Go standby. Main. Pot of Extravagance. And I will draw two cards. Oh, fantastic. Alright, I'll activate Cursed Eldland. Uh, land of... Cosmic, ooh. So then I just set five. Uh, two of them are doubles, but that's honestly fine. I just need to resolve uh, one conch and one sanguine to get into a winning position. Yep, summon conch. And then that makes... That last face down is the punishment, which I don't think I care about, actually. Sorry about the noise, I had to adjust my leg. So he didn't use Punishment, which means he's free to summon from the extra deck this turn, which is, uh, probably fine. Okay, so we let him move to main phase. He, um... Activates Quick Launch. Is he just playing Eldlich with literally every engine in it? Maybe I can just Nibiru him, honestly. Um, yep, Rocket Tracer. Uh, 
Sure. So he's going to lock himself into darks and get rid of his conch, which is fine. This conch can't use itself till the end phase, and then he can just set an Eldlixer, which I'm not super worried about. Um, Because he's probably just going to, during the end, oh, he's going to make that dragon guy, yeah, and then he's going to mill five, but I don't know if he's going to do anything that I'm super worried about. So that's two... That's two summons. Um, let's see if he can get to three for Nibiru, honestly. Or, uh, five. Because he's going to synchro the, the dragon. He's going to mill five. And then I'm really not sure, actually. Yeah, there's the dragon. He'll mill five, and then... I guess it depends what he hits, but... He doesn't have any light monsters in his graveyard. Um, definitely not either, definitely not either. Ooh, that sucks. Um, oh, those some, were some terrible mills. He milled an extra card, but it's just Red-Eyes Black Dragon, so I'm going to let him. Bad. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was terrible. Um, so I'm not really sure if I'm worried about anything right now. He'll, um... And that's his third summon. He can't, He's under Nibiru still. And he just added a Red-Eyes Black Dragon and milled no cards, basically. So... I st still really only have two interrupts, but I only need the two if he only has these. Because um, he can't even... Um, I assume that what he was going to do was summon the Verdi Anaconda, banish back for this guy, and then make the uh, Dragoon, but now he can't even do that, so. That's Chaos Ruler and Ecclesia are going to hit. Uh, activate Conk. Chain. Elplixer. So then I'll get to summon an Eldlich and pop Chaos Ruler. And then... I don't know if he knows you can point at cards, but I'm uh, clarifying because it seems that he's pretty new to the website. Um, not necessarily new to the game. I'm not like being an asshole or anything. He just, it seems like uh, he doesn't really, he's not really familiar with the website. Um, move to end phase, activate Conquistador. Yep. So he'll just set the Scarlet Sanguine, probably past turn. Oh, I don't think there's anything I can do here, no. Uh, my Sanguine was activated this turn. Only thing I have banished is Eldland. <clears throat> yeah, he sets the Sanguine. And then he'll pass here. I'll go standby main one. Activate a second cock. Pop 
back. Because um, then we can Xyz Pleiades, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is the one time that Negalogia Zeus would have come up in this deck. Uh, so then we'll Xyz Summon for... Oh, nope, I guess I won't Xyz Summon for Constellar Pleiades. I will not Xyz Summon for Constellar Pleiades. Nifty. Um, so I'll just go to the battle phase and attack. For like 3,000, I think. Target Eldritch. Um, send this guy. Ventus pops the um, the conk that hasn't attacked yet. The the conk in attack position is what I would assume. Ventus the face down. Okay. So then I'll attack directly for five hundred damage. That'll go to the graveyard. Uh, main two. He activated Untus, so I can activate Talents. I just don't know what I want to do with it. Um, it doesn't seem worse to put any of his cards away because he has so much to play with in the graveyard, so I'll just go... Draw two. Okay, so I'll draw two. I got extra of an Eldlin for next turn. Uh, Eldlich. This can add Holquero or Conquistador. Um, I'll add Holquero, or it can actually add Golden Land, but I think I want. Uh, we'll add Golden Land forever. And then activate the Sanguine Graveyard to go for a Holquero set. And then end phase to ten clad. Okay. What does he set here?
Wawa? I am, I am confused what he is asking me. I'm just gonna say yes. Uh, normal Ecclesia... This can negate a monster effect, right? I don't know that I want to, actually. Because he can't summon from the extra deck, which means that he's... I can't win GG, bro. Alright, well, that's good enough for me. Yep. Alright, so this one was still pretty long, but shorter than the last one. That's cool. So, um... Until next time.